transportation of concrete part 5 pump and pipeline method pumping of concrete is most commonly adopted method of transportation of concrete and placing this method is generally adopted for multi-story buildings tunnels and bridges the mixed concrete is fed in the hopper of the pumping machine. The concretes are pushed by the vacuum created on the suction stroke of the piston and forced into the pipeline on the pressure stroke. The common type of pump used for concreting is mobile pump, trailer or static pump and screed or motor pump. The pumps of capacity 15 to 150 meters cube per hour are commonly used. These pumps can push concrete up to 400 meters horizontally and up to 80 meters vertically. The concrete used in pumps should be cohesive and fatty. The slump value of these concrete should range from 50 to 100 mm or even more and a compacting factor of 0.9 to 0.95. As the pumping compacts the concrete to some extent and reduces the slump by about 25% at the delivery end. To offer additional lubrication, admixtures can be added to reduce bleeding and segregation. Generally, air entraining admixtures are used giving an air content of 3 to 5 percent. The valve system of pumps also plays an important role in transportation of concrete by pumps. The common type of valves used as peristaltic or squeeze type valves, sliding gate or rotating valve, flapper valves and hollow transfer tube valves. Out of these, hollow transfer tube valves are most commonly used. The pipes attached to the valves are made of steel. Aluminium or plastics which varies in sizes ranging from 80 to 200 mm diameters. The usage of aluminium pipes can be avoided as the formation of hydrogen gas occurs. The pipes should be laid with proper care such that there is no leakage of concrete in the coupling points. As any leakage results in the escape of air and water which in turn impede the pushing of concrete. In case of vertical pipe transportation, there must be sufficient starting distance provided. Normally, the distance of about 10 to 15 percent of the vertical distance is provided. Subscribe our channel for more civil engineering related videos.